got ahead. We arrived at the perfect time as they've arrived at the Diker carcass. It's quite a small carcass, as I said. I don't think it's going to be here for too long. But if Karula doesn't hoist it shortly, we're going to have to leave anyway. quite a long walk and I'll, you can see how close Hasana and Karula are lying to us. We can't really move into any other position at the moment. Shungili is more playing with the carcass than feeding on it. Look at that, going for the, look at that. See, it's instinctive. She doesn't have to be taught to go for the throat. <laughs> it's a big fluffy toy. Look at that, going for the throat again. Those instincts, those inbred instincts she's born with taking over. Look, 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 look. <laughs> He's just having the best time. Yum, 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 yum. It almost looks like, oh, maybe I should take it up the tree, but I think she's still a bit small. So Jilly in New York is wondering why she didn't hoist the kill before she went to fetch the cups. <laughs> well, Jilly, I'll get to that now. Let's just watch this incredible behavior. Jilly, uh, she probably didn't want to waste the energy, so I think she was quite confident that because of the time of the day that it happened, there was very little chance of her losing it to hyenas or other predators, so that's probably why she didn't hoist it. I think she will hoist it as it gets darker, but well, I wish I could tell. We never really know what happens in a leopard's mind. Now all this playing we're seeing now is, is it's just incredible instinct taking over. Now people don't realize that even we are instinctive beings. And that instinct to go home when it gets dark is from when we lived on the savannah and lions and other things were coming out. Oh, it's a young, it's a baby boy. You can just see his little horns sticking out now. <laughs> 